Okay, somebody requested that when I got the little tear tray up to show you guys. Y'all, y'all, you see it's junked up. It's do spinning. It just got all my junk on it, girl. That I actually call myself going through cleaning up, girl. But I just put a lot of my jewelry. And this is the uh, little sheet in samples that I got. And I just throw it in here, stuff that I reach for kind of quickly, she and jewelry. Oh, uh, just my quick go-to jewelry. I just throw on that girl, spin it around. But that's it. That's the little, I forget what I paid for, but that's the little three-tier tray situation, girl. Put together. I finally put it together. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Done through the fines. I am Ursula Thomas. Girl, yes. I don't know why we do that. Uh, I feel like country people do that. They they get a whole nine, girl. Anyway, I'm Ursula. Y'all know by now this channel was founded on bargain hunting, bargain shopping, love for less thrifting, a little vlog with me, a little thrift with me, a little cook with me. You never know what you're going to do with me. But it's going to do with who? It's going to be with who? It's going to be with mine. So, uh, get healthy with me. It's I is I take on this one. Then go to the gym this morning or yesterday because I knew that uh, okay I keep straight I knew that um, I had some a few little things that I wanted to do so welcome 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 all of my old subs you know I have much love for you all of my old subbies that didn't die and all of my new subbies, I'm so glad y'all joined. I love fam bam girl. I big huge humongous fam bam. And everybody that's passing by, I said, who is that girl, Marshall Thomas? I told y'all this channel was founded on girl just getting out here, trying to find us a good life, living good, eating good, looking good, all this good stuff on a budget, girl. Honey, I am a true bargain hunter, bargain shopper, girl. If it's a bargain, sign me up. Sign me up for the bargain that you see. Sign me up, put my name on the road. Okay, girl, stop. Anyway, I have stopped in Dollar Tree. I went back to the Dollar Tree, girl. If y'all follow me, I'm trying to get TikTok going. I'm trying to learn about all this stuff, girl. Uh, and I think I did in a YouTube short that I went to Dollar Tree. Um, and found some me and undies, some boxes like regular price twelve dollars, girl dollar twenty five. So anyway, I knew they weren't gonna have them nine times out of ten. But still, I went back to double check, girl. Gone like crystal clear. Can't see them nowhere, which I already knew. Uh, but I didn't want to get a bunch of pack. But I knew that I like to walk around the house and see if I knew my grandbaby would too. So I wish it should have went ahead on and followed my mind. But anyway. So now I just picked up some paper towels as I was out and some paper plates and now we are headed to uh girl I'm going back to Forever 21. Now I haven't been to ever Forever 21 girl. Who Lord Do y'all remember Girl had to be before the pandemic it had to be like 2017, 2016, 16, 17. 2018, somewhere up in there. Y'all remember at one time, Forever 21, I feel like I'm looking sideways. Forever 21, girl. Everybody was going to Forever 21. So, I, you know, I feel like Forever 21 stores like that are very trendy. Uh, they are not uh, grown woman friendly. I don't feel, I do feel like they're a little plus size friendly. Uh, Cause they do have plus size clothes, but I feel like they are more for like you know the girls that's doing the things, girl. Uh, but I went in there and found a couple of classy pieces, so I want to go back and just look and see that they have any sets that I can add. Like, where I'm at, y'all. Hold on to the classy pieces. So we're not gonna be in there long and then I don't know what else we're gonna do today. But um 
like I said, whatever you're going to do, you're going to do it with money if you hang around. So, I ain't going to be in there long, girl. I'm going to run in there and do that. And then I'll call you to the house. And then what I might do is come on back to the house, girl, and style those little pieces up or do a little haul or something. Anyway, so I'll see y'all at Fell Tour more because I'm really trying to limit how much I talk. Because, girl, I get on here to talking. And I don't want to the vlogs just to be about me running my mouth. I did make me an iced coffee matcha today, girl. Let me tell you something. Can y'all see that? Honey, let me tell y'all something. I went to the Dollar Tree. It's something about that matcha. Y'all let me know down below if y'all like that as well. I went in the Dollar Tree, girl. By the time I made it, walk back there to get the paper towel in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the paper plate. Girl, when I was walking up, I ain't used use the bathroom. Then it kind of went away. So that's why I know I ain't going to be in forever too long, long. So I know to no I know tomorrow we're going to the gym, but now nah, I don't know. We might and we might not. Anyway, I'll see y'all at Forever Okay, y'all. So I know I said I was going to see y'all when I got to Forever 21, but y'all know, girl, sometimes you just have to talk. So I was just riding, thinking to myself, just about life and about God and about uh, my relationship with God. And I was just thinking, you know, I was like, well, let me talk to the fam fam because this might be helpful to some of those. And I think one of the things I want to share is I was sitting here thinking about, and I've said this before because if you didn't know, me and my husband used to teach class at our church. And one of the things in this particular class that we used to say is that, you know, Christians or people that claim to be Christians, or we'll say Christ-like, are so critical, judgmental, and mean. And that is the image that church has given to so many people. Either you are on that side when you are so critical, so judgmental, so mean, or you are on the other side, so loosey-goosey, so lackadaisical, and anything goes. And it's a good, firm middle. You just have to know what that middle looks like for you. And then I think, too, what has happened was, because I was sitting here talking to God, and I was like, God, thank you for getting me to a point where I know that I can ask you for help. And some people, well, you know you can ask God for help. Well, sometimes being in a church and being in a certain church setting and being taught so many wrong things, thinking it's right, people literally think that you can't say, God, I need help in this area. Because they think they're supposed to already have it together. And one thing God is not about is, is con condemnation. He's not about condemning. But church folks will condemn you. They will condemn you and criticize you uh, for whatever you do, how you do it, when you do it. And God said, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. And I was sitting up here thinking about, you know, sometimes, a lot of times, we open our mouths in ways to thinking we helping somebody and we really can hurt somebody and thinking that that's the Christian way and that's not that's not who God is God know that we can't be I think some people think that God expects perfection out of us and God know that we are not perfect he ex he have an expectation of us that's why he gave us his word and told us this is how I want you guys to live. But so many people have interpreted that word in all kinds of ways to mean all kinds of you can you can literally go to the word and back up anything and twist it the way you want it and it'll sound right. And we all know for the longest is that that's how so many people was able to feel like that they could justify slavery for the misinterpretation of what the word was saying. Sometimes we read the word at face value and we don't think about or we don't go and do any research about the time frame that that was written, who wrote it, why did they write it, what was going on in that area, what was going on. People say, well, the word, the word, it never changed. God's words never change. But, how can I say it? Like, for example, people say, uh, and it's so controversial when people say that 
women shouldn't speak in church because Paul told it. This was a whole thing back then about women and being on their cycle and how the dynamics was set up and all of these things. And people are still fighting against those things right now without truly doing any real research into what was going on in that era. It's just so much stuff, and I don't want to get off into it because I ain't trying to draw no controversy because you're going to believe what you're going to believe. Like Rachel said, believe what you want to believe now. But I always say go to God for, for yourself. And I will share this story, and this is my story. When I first got really, really, really like at a younger age, my mom would talk about God, but in a way that it wasn't, he wasn't real, just so to speak. And I remember once uh, I had to come live with my father and my stepmom got saved, she ended up getting saved in a, uh, well, we used to, we used to back then, Holy Ghost Church. We used to call sanctified. They said, oh, she's sanctified. So some of their beliefs were based on according to the Bible that they felt like, you know, women shouldn't wear men clothes. And I was always confused about that because every time you would see somebody in the Bible talk about the Bible, the men would always have on like uh, kilts and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, well, anyway, we don't get off into that. So, uh, I remember my hair got saved. And I'm going to turn it I remember I had got saved and uh, I had two young, you know, my babies was young. Hold on. Okay, like I was saying, y'all, this ain't going to be long, but my babies was young. And I remember, y'all, I wanted to go outside and play with them, but all I had was pants. Well, the church she grew up in, you didn't wear makeup, you didn't wear jewelry, you didn't wear pants. You didn't wear anything like that when you wore a dress or a skirt that had to be past your ankle. And I was so scared that if I put those pants on that I wasn't going to be saved. And I remember going in, falling on my knees. That's why I said, if you really cried to God, he would answer you. I remember going in and falling on my knees, y'all, crying in tears, in fear. That if I put them pants on, that that was the damnation of my salvation. And God spoke to me. He said, for what thou wearest is not of importance. He said, for man, look at the outer, but I look at the heart. I didn't even know that was God. Y'all, I got to wipe my tears, and I went outside, put my pants on, went outside and played with my children, and that freed me. Nothing nobody could tell me about pants, wearing pants was a damnation, wearing pants was a sin. Then I began to learn as I grew in God that a lot of things are man-made. Man-made laws and rules according to the Bible for what they feel like they know, what they feel like they study. And so many people hadn't went to God for themselves. They've trusted in what man have said and annihilated or, or, or uh, just made what God said obsolete according to what man said. Always go to God. Always go to God. And then we have to go to the Word, which I'm learning to truly back up to make sure that's what God said. I didn't know that was in the Bible. I didn't find out to use and use and use later that that was in the Bible. And I was like, oh my God, that's how I know God spoke that to me. Girl, let's go on fast 21.
we are after they are in the two things because i don't need anything but i don't mind adding something to my wardrobe when it's cost efficient all right i'll see y'all in the car uh, they are definitely a young like trendy store but i'm telling you i went over there you got to know your style know what you really want to wear stuff that i just knew that's one thing i've learned too y'all is that i used to be girl lost two of my nails in there i used to be more of a oh that's cute let me get it kind of person now i am more of a oh that's cute but is it my style and did i wear it kind of person i used to just be oh that's cute that's cute that's cute and i tell myself because it was cute i would wear it but just because it's cute just cause be just because it's cute does not mean that it's my aesthetics it does not mean that i will wear it it does not mean that it's for me so i have learned that i'm not going to thank you now i'm done so i saw a lot of stuff and i said like, okay that's cute that's cute that's cute but mm -mm. but i did find y'all know i'm a four leather through and through i did find uh, but they wasn't marked down because baby i was looking at them they was on the five dollar rack and i was like if these are five i don't care what <laughs> they are. uh because you know when you are the, in those kind of stores the sizes really don't mean nothing you just got to try it on because like one pair of pants i tried on they said it was a three x i tried them on they definitely in my opinion was not three x uh they were too big for me but i feel like if i wore three x i wouldn't have been able to fit them i truly believe that if i wore three x they would have been tight all right so let me maneuver my way out of this place because this is not somewhere i come and i'll see y'all later okay y'all i cannot remember if i told y'all <clears throat> That we was going to come home and do the video or, girl, let's just act like it's a brand new video just in case it ain't. If it is, then it, it rocks right on time. Welcome to my channel, Don Thrift Fine Girl. I am Ursula. Welcome, girl, all my old subs. You know I got much love. Hey, let me, let me sing to you. I felt it, girl. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't move on. I felt all of my old subbies that bend down with me. All right, y'all. Girl, I ain't put nothing on my lips. Y'all. I ain't put nothing on my lips. Well, we finna just roll, girl. I'm drinking coffee anyway. So all my old subbies that been down with me, y'all know I got much love and all my new subbies. Welcome. And all of my passerby girl, I'm Ursula, and this channel was founded on thrift and bargain, hunt, bargain, shopping, lust for less, least trip me a little, a little trip with me. A little thrift with me, a little, girl, it's just going to be with me. It's just going to be with me. Y'all know how we do. I'm very lackadaisical uh, when it comes to my videos, more so, I think, than others, because that's just me. I just like to come on and just share, girl. We family. Let's get off in two. Have I did all the please like your and subscribe? Girl, girl. Okay, no. Girl, like your and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Then I did my hair, y'all, and dropping my grandbaby. We are all going to drop the grandbaby off. And I didn't did my hair. And I didn't feel like put on a wig. So we 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 just twisted some up, girl. So I'm gonna be back here uh like Queen Vatin Queen Vatinfa. Like Queen Latifa is said it all with them big braids going to the girl. Let's just get into the house. Yeah, I'm so excited. So gonna be a little of this with a little of thrifting when I get ready to style. Y'all are so excited. I told y'all guys about I went actually to take my grandbaby to Forever 21 girl. To find her some stuff, school girl. This is so good. I made me some cinnamon caramel coffee. Don't ask me how I did it. I just, I just threw some stuff in there, and it's so good. When I went in there, cause y'all know I haven't shopped in Forever Twenty One. I know since two thousand seventeen, maybe. So when I went in there, y'all, uh, not saying that you know 
they don't have anything. It all depends on your style, who you are, your aesthetics, and all that kind of stuff, and how you feel about all that kind of stuff. So I went in there just looking around. Y'all know me, girl. If you seen the real, y'all seen I go straight to the cleanse rack. I went to the cleanse rack, girl, and found so many cute things for $5. I didn't get them all. I just got what I felt like fit me and how I knew I wanted to style it. Girl, let me show you. Let me show you. First thing, girl, we're going to pull out this bag. Now, y'all know this, girl. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like that. It's like they going back to the 100% uh, cotton jeans, the no stretch jeans. I know a lot of people love that. I don't. Because if you feel, if you curvy or you got any kind of curves or anything to you, you know them, them jeans with the elastane, they was a savior for us. Oh, I, I said for me. They was a savior for me. I have always, ever since I can remember, as a young child, when it came to jeans, I always had to go up two, uh, sometimes maybe three sizes. If it depended on the jeans, because you know I didn't learn to lay. They didn't cut them jeans and stuff for us. So I picked these up. I didn't think I was gonna like them, but I thought I'd give them a try. They five dollars. I had to get them in an eighteen. Now the regular price was I don't know, but then they had them marked down to twenty four. But I actually got them for $5, and I think they're super cute. Now, I wish that what they did, I wish they took another one of these. I forget what you call it. It made it tighter. So you can get it a little tighter like that because I do have a gap in the back, but I'm used to that. And because they made it in the front, you really cannot wear a belt with them. And these are the jeans. Y'all know I told y'all I really didn't know how I was going to feel about these. I had to get these bad boys in the 18, honey. Woo, honey. Because they coming back here with the real, like, jeans. These have zero stretch. I don't like that. I don't like to stay with a little elastin in there. Anyway, you can, you can, these jeans, you literally can do anything you want to with these, girl. Anything, girl. I want to pull my little wig off and just sit up here. See how I just threw it on with this? And look at it. I can literally throw it on with this. Some black slides. Then y'all know me. I'm a hat girl. I could do a baseball hat or see. <laughs> or a baseball cap with some black slides. Big oversized purse or a crossbody. It depends on what your is. But just see. It's just jeans. I love styling jeans. That's why I love styling jeans. Jeans and a blazer. That's it for me. That's it for me. Yeah. And that's it. Y'all know I told y'all I wasn't going to do the other one because um, I messed the back of it up. I got to fix the back. So that's all. I was going to add a little... Um, a little, uh, what is it? A goodwill, but let me show y'all this. Yeah, and this do have a little gap in the back. Y'all know I do this from time to time, and I find something that's really good. Y'all look at this. So nobody really, it's y'all, y'all ask for the the sequence, pleated skirt, but nobody really got it. But look at this. Now I cannot fit this. This is 111 in pristine condition, y'all. I couldn't leave it. 100% genuine leather. Nothing is wrong with it. Like I said, all I need is shipping and handling. I don't charge for it. I just charge shipping and handling for it. And if you're interested, I just couldn't leave it. I thought that was too pretty. Let me show y'all the red. Can y'all see that pretty red? I could not leave this. Now, remember I told y'all about this skirt. Hold and on. I had a couple of inquiries about this, but nobody actually came through with it. Like I said, now, the it's not going to be tight in the waist. You might have to see the last thing is kind of gone in the waist. You might have to either get some new last thing or get somebody to take it up if it don't fit your waist. But this is just... 
like I said, it's sequins, like a tennis skirt. And I just thought it was going to fit me good. I wish I could turn into a top. But I thought it was going to fit me. The delusion of it all. Look at that. Anyway, if you're still interested, just let me know. All I ask is for shipping and handling as well as this. And I got this from the bin, y'all. Can y'all imagine just going to the landfill? So they say. So when I find just good, good stuff like that, I like to come and at least see if any of the Bam Bams are interested in it. And I love these jeans, y'all. Five dollars. I got to go. I'm hot. The sheen with is hot. Um, I love these jeans. I absolutely love them. I'm so glad I got them. Bad Father got these in a 14 or even a 16. Uh-uh. Not with these hips I got right now. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. They are comfortable. And I took zero stress. These are jean jeans. Like back in the day, girl. Don't, they don't need to do that to us curvy girls. Bye. Next thing I got. Now, I'm not going to try this on. I'm going to tell y'all why. And I'm going to show y'all my receipt. Because um, I went twice. But y'all can see for yourself. See that? Can y'all see that? Y'all not can see. Can see? $5, $4.45. Because... The reason you can't fall for the fact because you gave me an email, you got an extra percentage off. I got to fix this because I told this one. I wasn't going to take it back and I told it. Not want to take my time and unzip it and put it on the right way. I messed the zipper up and I fixed it, but I got to so I got to I got to do a little razzle dazzle to it. But it's just like this metallic, like that is so pretty to me. And it has a little stretch in the back. So it yeah, has stretch in the back. I just put it on. Put it on. Pulled it over. So I said, Pow. and I was like, why you just didn't do it the right way? So I had to fix the back and I still got to uh, finish it. So I'm not going to try that on. Because I don't want to mess it up again. Next, I just love these. And I love these because they remind me of pajama pants. And they are these black. Wide leg, satin pants, with pocket, and a full drawstring. I love when they have a full drawstring because then I can tighten it and cinch them to my waist how I desire. I absolutely love them. And I think for a look, I could do this with my little made top if I wanted to and a blazer if I wanted to. I could do this, this. With uh, a collar shirt and put this on top of the collar shirt with some black and white heels, that would be astonishing. Because really, style is fashion. When people say style, it's really according to your style. And so, that's really sometimes why I really don't really like people not think it's style. Because people are like, ooh, I wouldn't wear that with that. But that's not your style or your aesthetic. So, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Then, when I went back, I found this top. It actually does go with the pants. Because I was thinking, I could see those pants got a blazer. But when I went back, I just found this cute little top, which is not going to be a crop on me because I'm sure in, so everything is scrunched down to that up. Next thing I got, or the last thing I got is these. I really don't know how to style them yet. But they're like an elevated, relaxed, almost like a jogger style. Uh, regular leg or straight leg, but it has all the little crystals on them. I really, I think with a, a cute t-shirt with some crystals, I think this would be so cute. So, I did get these. And that's, okay, y'all. Honestly, with these, I really hadn't decided how I want to style these up yet. So, I just kept on my little workout top. It ain't a bra, just a little workout top. So, I'd have a real bra for you to see, but you know, they just cute. You can actually style them up. You can style them down. I don't know. I just know I wanted them for five dollars. Uh, a black turtleneck. Just, uh, I just thought they was cute for five dollars. And they got pockets, and they do have elastic in the back, so that's gonna eliminate a little of that gapping. And I know 
somebody had said that elastic in the back uh, cheapens the outfit. It don't bother me. So, it's really not a style. I'm just showing you that you could put like a nice black bralette on under this with a top like this. Like, I dress like this for date night with me and hubby. So, I could just put a top on just like this and leave this open. And I think that would be cute with these. And right now, y'all know we're in slides or gym shoes. So, it's it. Like I say, really styling is just the individual take on what they like and how they like it. Because I know it's like, ooh, I want to wear that. Da, 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 da. That's fine. That, that's just ain't your float, and that's fine. But I'm just showing this is one of the ways, not with this top, but like if I wanted to do like a black top or black bralette or something like this and just, you know, for a date night. I ain't going to nobody assembly. I ain't going for date night for me and her. Because what I did to attract you is what I'm doing to keep you. Chain, chain, 37 plus years. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Hey. That is my Forever 21 haul. I was going to mix it in with uh, the thrift, but I'll just wait. We'll just deal with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try some of the thrifted on um, that I thrifted. Mix it in with some of this Forever 21. All right, y'all. Tell me what you think. I hope you like. Give me some pointers. When I come back, girl, we're going to do the thrift haul. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mix a little thrifting with a little styling, a little try on. Maybe I'm going to comb my head by the end, girl. That's all I have, y'all. Did I even show y'all this? I showed y'all this. I thrifted this. Girl, I already got my stuff in this huge. Did I show y'all this bag? It is so pretty on the inside. I already got all my stuff in. It is gorgeous. Yes, and the name of it is... Um, I think my bag, my best friend, my best friend is my bag or something like that. Y'all, this thing is gorgeous. I got it because I plan on, it said my best friend is a bag. Google it. And I got it because I plan on, you know, going to coffee shop and stuff to do my work or going to class, a Bible class, and I have something sophisticated to carry my stuff in. So, yes, yes, yes. And that's all I have, y'all. Um... Until next time, please be the solution to what? Somebody's problem. You was born to be the solution to somebody's problem. Trust and believe that, girl. Trust and believe it. Get out there. Solution it for them problems. I love you guys. Bye. Be the solution to somebody's problem. Bye. Bye. Bye.